here Gordon is facing uh, Nicky Rod. Former training partner. And um, again, the intention here is this has to be put in the context that Gordon will be fighting the greatest ADCC grappler of all time in a few hours after this. So what we're looking for is a uh, a quick resolution. Um, Still. The shortest possible match. Now, the, there's a complicating factor here. Nicky Rod was a wrestler before he was a jiu-jitsu player. On paper, the way his route to win is via wrestling. He's not going to be able to um, submit Gordon Ryan, and he's not going to be able to pass his guard. So he has to win by wrestling. In the ADCC finals, you cannot sit the guard. So the, the approach that Gordon used earlier that we saw on video cannot be used in the finals. Gordon must wrestle his opponent. So on the way out, uh, Gordon and I were talking and we'd had discussions obviously during the camp, what's the appropriate thing to do here? And there had been some matches earlier in the event where it was becoming obvious that stalling was being heavily punished by referees. So I said to Gordon on the way out, just give him your leg. Let him take you down. Because in the first 10 minutes of the finals, takedowns don't score anything. Well, there, are no, there are no means of scoring the first 10 minutes, but you can't sit to guard. That will, be, that will award you a negative point. So I said, just let Nicky Rod take you down. And he's like, Nicky Rod's not going to take the bait. And I said, if he doesn't, they'll call him for stalling. And so... And, and then Craig Jones also commented uh, after the fact is, I don't know why Nicky Rod took the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if we see the start of the match, you see Gordon comes out and offers a leg. Now, it's not that, you know, Nicky Rod is smart. He knows what's happening here. And uh, what's he going to do? Stall for 10 minutes and get like five stalling calls put against him? So Gordon gives him the takedown. That way they go to the ground immediately with no effort. And the match now favors Gordon because Gordon is uh, significantly more skilled on the ground. Um the question is, how can we make this match as short as possible? And as is so often the case, the answer comes back to legs. So uh, for people just listening to this, Gordon's in an open guard, and Nicky Rod appears to be trying to keep his hips away from Gordon's legs. Yes, the big no, Nicky Rod knows there's a danger here. So he's elected to go to his knees. That will set up his favorite body lock passes, and it will in some ways mitigate some of the dangers associated with leg locks. So Gordon's whole thing is, how am I going to get my body weight underneath him? He has a choice between linear entries where he enters between his opponent's knees and circular entries where he inverts and spins underneath his opponent to get under a center of gravity. Is, is there a way for somebody to try to get a body lock without giving Gordon an opportunity to get under, the, under them? Uh, well, the body lock is an excellent way to shut down leg lock entries if you can get to the body lock. But you can see Gordon's very, very disciplined with his elbow and knee position. Elbows and knees are uh, working in a position where it's very, very hard for his opponent to access his waist. That shoulder is always either across the hip or in front of the shoulder. Sorry, his knee is either in front of the shoulder or in front of the hip. And we're one minute into the match, and just if I were to look at the video player here, it's, it appears that the match is over soon. So uh, so I guess Nicky Rod is facing this. I need to get close in order to do the, uh, the body lock, and the closer you get, the more danger there is uh, to let Gordon get uh, under you and get the uh, leg control. Now they're starting to get close here. Gordon's going to try and get his head underneath his opponent, make a circular entry into the legs. He's clearing his opponent's head out of the way by faking the arm drag on the far side, the first move that he used against his uh, first opponent earlier in the tournament. And there's the leg. Spins underneath it, goes circular, rotates through, gets his body weight underneath his opponent. Okay. And now he's going to trip him down to the mat. Now, 
uh, I believe Nagira tries to pull out his foot here. And Craig also said that Nikirad has gotten used to be able to pull that foot out from anybody. And that he was very surprised at the grip that that Gordon was able to actually hold on. So I just want to comment. I'm I'm just yeah. I'm just parroting commentary. Um if you, from, if you if you look at what's happening here from the um, internet. Uh just if you just freeze it, you'll see that Gordon, like any good leg locker, will always treat his opponent's foot like a knot at the end of the rope. Yeah. Just as you slide down a rope, if there's a knot at the end, your hand will catch. Yeah. So too with the human leg. When they go to extract by pulling, you just keep your fist as close to your shoulder, shoulder as possible and narrow the gap. The foot will always catch. The failure that many people have is they let their hand drift away from their own shoulder. And so there's room for the foot to extract. But you'll see Gordon's extremely disciplined with thumb close to his own shoulder, which creates a situation that's very, very hard just to simply pull your foot out. You're, you're focusing on the knot of the foot. Yeah. Uh, also, and- it's very early in the match. There's very little sweat. Both athletes are still pretty dry. Now Gordon has to climb the leg, and now he's already captured his opponent's shoelace. There's the heel exposure coming up, and Nicky Rod already knows things are getting bad. And there's the win. Actually, the comment I made, I guess, was from a little bit earlier. There was an earlier time where Nicky Rod was trying to pull out the foot, and the Gordon is able to hold on to the knot, um, which, which is interesting. Now, that was a, a brilliant day's work by Gordon Ryan. He's had two matches against opponents considerably bigger and stronger than himself. And uh, the time of the two matches can be measured in, I think, less than two minutes. So he's he's no done injuries. what he set out to do. No injuries, no exhaustion. He's beaten four guys back to back, all of whom are excellent athletes with minimal energy expenditure, and he's ready to go on to his super fight. 